design point of view tour on the Grand Design Influence 3503 GK 5th Wheel. Let's get to it. All right, everybody, here we have the Grand Design Influence 3503 GK. We're starting on the exterior today so you can get a nice look at all of the storage. We've got our main pass-through storage here. Great solid steps. Outdoor speakers. <laughs> and we come to the back. As you can see, we've got the ladder there for you, ready to get up and do any maintenance you might need to clear some debris off your roof. Let's take a quick peek at the hitch here. And moving on onto the driver's side, we've got our big slide here, so opposing slides in the living space. We've got our on-demand water heater here and our 50 amp service hookup there. We've got our convenience center located here on the driver's side of our nice big pass-through storage. We've got our dump valves. And then just take a look again at all this storage. Now it's really nice because if you want to have the convenience center accessible, you don't actually have to open up this whole hatch. We've got kind of a two-door setup going on here. Let's give it a little close. And then we've got our second propane storage as well. And with that, I think we're ready to pop inside. Let's go. First look in our rear living setup of the 3503 GK. All right, let's just make our way all the way straight to the back here and take a nice look at this beautiful rear sofa. Now we've got nice updated modern light colors in here, so it feels really bright and spacious, but also cozy because we have touches like this little fireplace here with the faux logs, make it nice and cozy. We've got our TV on a bracket and then we've got some storage up above. Also, controls for our sound system. And just so you can take a little peek here. Now focusing back here into the rear again, this is a tri-fold sofa, so you're gonna have space for extra guests. Now they don't give you cup holders into the seat, but they do give you these harder platforms just on the armrest, so you can rest your drink. We do have USB ports and as well outlets for you. We've got roller shades on all of these windows. And let's take a look at the storage. Whoa, so we've got big storage up above. Okay, so it is gonna be a full pass through. We've got the nice added touch of the kind of tinted glass and then the hardwood cabinet doors on the ends, but tons of storage. Soft clothes. <laughs> and then your second seating option in here is going to be your recliners. So again, we've got this nice kind of hard surface right here for you to put your drinks and it's on an electric recline. So super nice and easy. And there's a USB port in here for charging as well. Let's take a look at these seats when they're fully reclined. See how much recline you truly get. That goes pretty far back. Nice recline on those theater seats. Again, placed so strategically in front of your entertainment center and your electric fireplace. Continuing on in this slide, so it's one of two opposing slides in your living area. One being your kitchen and the other being this dining seating area. Speaking of dining, we've got the free standing table and chairs here to give you plenty of room to move around and just windows everywhere you look on the campsite. All right, now let's talk about the kitchen. We'll start here in our coffee bar. You're gonna have an outlet here as well as some accent lighting. We've got storage below with our drawers and our cabinets and our frosted glass cabinets above. And I love a little added touch of this shelving and little cubby space here. Now, just so you can see, there is your outlet and you've also got USB ports. So if you need this to be the charging hub for everybody's devices, go for it. Let's open her up and check out the lit up pantry. This unit is equipped with travel fi You need your Wi-Fi on the go. And then let's take a look at our beautiful fridge here. Just a lovely vertical setup for your fridge and freezer. And you might be thinking, what's that? Well, it's your pet bowls. Now 
let's bring your attention to this beautiful island. I love this accent here, just such a nice aesthetic to keep the space cozy. And then let me draw your attention to our smart sink. So we've got our rinsing basin here for vegetables. You will have a sprayer come out here. Then we've got our cutting board, but if you don't wanna use that, you can take that out. And then we've also got a basin. And then, I mean, at the end of the day, take it all out and you've got a deep stainless steel sink. And then one of my favorites is the glass rinser, soap dispenser, And then these are your controls. And to round it out, let's take a look at this side of the island. More of that beautiful texture and of course, accent lighting all around. We've got a three burner Furion range and we've got an oven here. Nice size oven. And storage for your pots and pans. Then we've got cabinetry on either side, so plenty of space for you to store spices, non-perishables, kitchen utensils, etc. And we've got ourselves a nice large size microwave. And again, more storage up here as well. With that being said, I think it's time for us to make our way upstairs. Here's where you're gonna find your compass connect with all of your controls as well as your tank levels and tons more storage up above. All right, coming into the bathroom, we've got our great size shower with glass closing doors, and we've got some storage here for all of our linens. Your porcelain foot flush toilet. And make your way over to your main vanity area here. A great amount of storage underneath. Great size sink, not too big, but it's deep, so you have enough area for you to actually get in there and wash your hands. We've got your Furion on-demand water heater. You can set all your settings here. And then instead of giving you a little medicine cabinet, you've got this three-doored storage space up above. Tons of room as it goes quite deep into the back. And now we find ourselves in the front cap of the fifth wheel. This is your bedroom area. Okay, let's start off by looking at this beautiful headboard here, which actually has a little secret to it. And that is, you can just flip that top slat to give you a shelf. We've got windows on either side with the shades and they both will open so you can have some nice airflow in here. We've also got an outlet and USB ports. And now the left hand side here is gonna have that little shelf there. You've got a little more of a chest of drawers on this side here. But we've got all this storage here in the closet as it's been recessed right into the front cap. So plenty of storage. Get the light on for you. Storage for days, plenty of room for your shoes and plenty of room for you to hang your clothes. And also I did wanna point out, though we don't have the chest of drawers on this side of the bed, we do still have a USB port and outlet. All right, let's get a nice look at the bedroom from this angle. We've got another outlet over here and a great size wardrobe closet with washer dryer prep. And then right to the front of the bed here, we've got our chest of six drawers and a little pull-out storage for you as well. Nice big window for plenty of natural light and wall-mounted TV. You'll also wanna take note of your second AC here in the bedroom to keep you comfortable. Let's make our way back into the main area and wrap it up. All right, everybody, that is it for my point of view tour on the Grand Design Influence 3503 GK. If you want to see this one and more Grand Design units like it, visit TravelandRV.com or drop me a comment below so I can get in touch with you. Catch y'all in the next one.